What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel of Turbo John. And today we're going to be talking about something that I've been scared of for a long time. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't know if this is going to work, but I've got an idea. Let me tell you about it. My fear. You guys have been following the channel for a while, or if you're just getting started, I appreciate y'all following along. Uh, aluminum fuel cells in race cars. Uh, Randy, earlier in the year, um, we wrecked his car. And when he hit the wall, the aluminum fuel cell ruptured open. It split wide open, fuel went everywhere, big fire. It was a, a whole big mess. And so I've always been scared of that. And that's the first time it actually happened. Uh, Jason, 10 Soldier Race Cars, uh, they've always, 10 Soldier Race Cars, Jason Terrell and those guys, they hate aluminum cells. And for that reason, so they always try to put a plastic cell in the car. Sometimes you have to put an aluminum one in it just to make it fit. So I've been thinking, how can you make that safe? So there are companies out there that make bladders. They make bladders that will go inside the fuel cell. The bladder goes in the fuel cell and NASCAR does that. Uh, there's a couple other, I think, sanctioning bodies with racing. They require that if you have a steel or an aluminum cell, it's got a rubber bladder on the inside. And then that way, if it ruptures, it should contain the fuel. So in the race car world, in the drag racing world, everybody builds custom cells, like different sizes, they're all aluminum. So I was thinking, I was like, why can't we put a coating on the outside of the fuel cell. So coat it with some type of rubber coating. Uh, once the fuel cell is made, once it's built, not to encapsulate it to the point so that it doesn't leak ever, but to just make it so that if you do crash it, you don't need but 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes of that thing to not let a bunch of fuel come out. So I got an idea. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I bought a can of Flex Seal. I'm gonna take a soda can and I'm just going to completely seal that soda can. I know it's not fuel. If if this works out the way I think it's gonna work out, then that could be our next test, is we can fill a, a bottle up with methanol or gasoline and then try to rupture it and see if it'll hold up. I don't know, I'm just thinking, trying to think of something to make it so that us people with aluminum fuel cells, if we could coat it with a rubber coating, a flex seal or another product to get us so that if we do crash the car, that it just holds up a little bit more and it just doesn't flap open and just pour five gallons of fuel out everywhere. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Comment, like, and subscribe, check it out. So this is my setup. Uh, it's aluminum fuel cell. I probably could get a, a plastic one here, but I really didn't start thinking about plastic until after I'd already bought this, bought this one and put it together. Um, I've got some protection up here, but you know, if this crashes and folds in, or I mean, my front end, this is my front end is here. So, I mean, I've got almost got a support on mine. There's, I mean, they require you to have it a, a frame around it, a bar if it's outside the frame rails to try to protect it. But even when we had that on Randy's, it, it kind of, I mean, it, it, it helps some, but it's still, I mean, ruptured in these seams. And if you ever had, I mean, an aluminum cell too, I mean, they do just fraction so what i did i bought a can of flex seal flex seal flex seal uh this is just you know this is just regular old flex seal so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a soda can i got a diet coke can we're gonna coat it i'm gonna put two or three coats on it we're gonna let it cure overnight and then we're gonna hit it with a hammer see if it'll actually contain that's gonna be interesting okay hang on let me show you all right guys so flex seal for the win and there may have been somebody that's already done this. It says apply. Oh, that stuff goes on thick. It says apply one one to two coats. It fully cures in, I think it said 48 hours. And I know they make like different companies like Rhino Line. And, you know, there's a, there's a lizard skin I think I remember seeing back in the day. Maybe it's just as simple as to do. Oh, I might have too much on it. What do you think? I better stop. And this is just a rubberized coating. So, I guess what we'll do is, I mean, I got the whole bottom there done. So we'll let this cure, and then we'll probably flip it over and put another coat on the bottom. Okay, stand by.
All right, guys, Hot Rod's back in the garage. We went racing this past weekend, and this has had time to cure. So this is, I think we've got two coats now of the flex seal on it. Man, that looks crazy. I might put a little bit too much on it uh, in some spots. But we put two coats on it, put one coat on it, let it dry for 24 hours, then put another coat on it, and it's pretty tight. Now, something... I really didn't think about till right now. So, you know, with the fuel cell here, you got the lid on it, but you also got vents. So you got two vents there. So this is under pressure. Hmm. So now I'm wondering, I wonder if I should open this, crack it to get relief pressure, but then I really won't be able to see if it explodes. I mean, this is... No, it's, not, it's vented. This had never is like got pressure like this. It never does. So this may not be an exact test, but what if I hit it with a hammer and what if I hit it with a hammer and we pop it and this kind of expands out some because, you know, this is carbonation under pressure. Let's do that. Let's just do that and see what happens. And we may prove, I don't know if it's going to work or not. We may prove our point or we may disprove our point. I guess regardless, we fixed and hit the Coca-Cola can. I just shook it up. So we're going to, oh, 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 that might be a bad idea. This might be a very, this might be a very bad idea. Uh, uh It'll be all right. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to lay it down, and I'm going to hit it right on the side with the hammer. And what y'all think is going to happen? Y'all think I'm going to get covered with Diet Coke? Or do you think the Flex Seal is going to hit it. Now, I'm not going to hit it with the claw part. I'm going to hit it with a, a, a flat part, kind of to simulate like a crash. I mean, I guess it's possible when you think something could puncture it. Okay, let, let, <laughs> let's go find the hammer. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So, we failed at finding a hammer. So, we found a broken input shaft. So, Chase is recording this over here. So, we got flex seal. We got coke can. Chase, what do you think? Do you think we should vent the top or not vent the top? Uh, I don't know. What does the actual fuel cell have? The fuel cell is vented. So the vent, the fuel cell literally has two vents on mine. So this is not going to be truly a test, is it? I mean, it's kind of... Eh, I don't know. It's kind of... Okay, next question is, is, should I shake it or should I not shake it? <laughs> you already shook it. Because, because like, oh, oops, hold on. I didn't mean to drop it. <laughs> Actually, you know, I could just throw it on the ground. Oh, boy, that was loud, wasn't it? Yeah. I didn't mean to scare me. I scared myself. So, what, what do you think? Is it going to go everywhere or is it not going to go everywhere? Okay, what do you think? I don't have on safety glasses. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I got a dent there and it didn't bust. Woo, that's loud. Yeah. So, should we vent it or not? It is fully pressurized now. Now it is. This might be a bad idea. Eh, well, too late now. <laughs> is, this a good, is it a good test or not? Maybe it's not. I'm hitting it flat. Yeah? I mean, that, it's not... There's dense two dents in it now. See the dents? Okay. So, if I hit it on the side there. You got on your safety glasses? I have glasses on. I got glasses. Oh, maybe I should have... I, I mean, it's just Diet it's Coke. Diet Coke, I yeah. mean, it's not like it's going to rupture and, like, put an eye out. Hit it on the corner of the table. Like this? No, like on the corner corner. Dude, it is, like... Like, I mean, like, on, like, a corner. Okay. Look at this, though. Look. Yeah. It's, like... It is definitely... If this didn't have the rubberized coat... If this did not have the flex seal on it... And I'm not sponsored by flex seal. But if this did not have flex seal on it now, that would absolutely have busted. Don't you think? Yeah, probably. I mean... Okay. I'm not going to throw it again. Why are you backing up? I don't want to be near this thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, I could throw it right on top of that. Or do, or, do, or should I hit it like this? I think you should just hit it. You think I should just whack it? Yeah. I'm going to throw it one more time. And see I if feel it like anything. it's going to go towards me. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I might just... Okay, it, okay. No, no, okay, it may, but it may, it may not. It's fine. Don't trip and fall. It's just... Diet Coke. <laughs> it's got to be about to bust. I don't know. It's got to be about to bust. Then hit it with the thing. I think we should go get a regular one and, and see if it can take these kind of hits. It's not busting. 
Now, granted, I'm hitting it flat. Okay, this time I'm gonna try to hit it right here. Bro. I mean. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely coding my fuel cell. I mean, yeah. this is not... This is just a regular... Look, it's about to explode right there. Look at that. Bro. Okay, so... Alright, I'm gonna do it like this. <laughs> why, why are you backing up? Okay, ready? Because you're backing up, that's why. It just bounced off. Well, you didn't throw it as I, hard as you were throwing it earlier. Throw it again. Bro. Uh, oh, we got a leak. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see if we can make it. That has got to take, point it at me. Okay, ready? Ready? <laughs> uh, place it in my mouth. Bro. Yep. Are you kidding me right now? Don't point it at me. That's pretty good. You sure about that? <laughs> you got it to explode that okay. Time. Okay. But look at um. Okay. Uh, it exploded. The other half's on the ground over there. It ripped it completely in half. And yeah. that was under a tremendous amount of pressure. Now my legs have a bunch of Diet Coke all over them. <laughs> Bro. Look at this, though. And that's just thin aluminum. This is so much. You want to go grab a normal one? No. Uh -uh. I, know what this is. I know what's going to happen with that. Okay, so now the... So did it work or did it not work? That's why we gotta go grab a normal one and do it and see how much less it can take. Wait, yeah, we know it can take. It can definitely can't take a lot. You want the thing to strap? Just the, just the. Go safety. grab one. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. Hold on. So, uh, it kind of got <laughs> like everywhere. It kind of exploded. <laughs> there, it's all over everything. Yeah. The, tr the truck. The, mainly the Corvette. It really kind of yeah. went towards you mostly, didn't it? It did. Thank you for hitting that. Okay, so now we have a regular one with no flex seal. Okay, I don't know what kind of happened. Okay, you ready? These normally break if you look at them wrong. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Should I throw it hard or not throw it hard? Well, I mean, it held up pretty decent to one blow. Yeah, but now it looks like that can after five. No, that's a true story. Okay. And it's already busted. Two hits, two... Yeah, it busted in the middle, too. Yeah, that's that's true. This one, it started leaking up here at the seam. And that is... Okay, I guess we can throw it again. <laughs> okay, don't. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh now was... it's spraying just a little bit more. Spraying more. Okay, I'm thirsty. Okay. Oh, it's got a hole on the other side now, too. Mm -hmm. It's got two. <laughs> okay. Okay. How many times did we hit it with this before it broke? Uh, I don't know. We hit it three or four times. Yeah, right? something like that. Okay, I'm going to hit it. Maybe the can is just more rugged. No, it's different. I mean, it's already, like, it's depressurizing as well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just throw it more. Maybe aluminum cans are pretty good. Maybe. No, I mean, it's definitely... Okay. Okay, Wait. don't... Oh, yeah, <laughs> he pointed it straight at me. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little bit more on there as well. I did hit it with the, the corner, though. But that's... Okay. Oh, that's that ain't beer, is it? That's Stone Cold Steel Steel. steel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try to cut my lip. Diet Coke's very expensive now. What do you think? Do you think coating an aluminum fuel cell with some type of 
flex seal or rubberized coating. And you can see this was a very, this was only two coats, so it's very thin. Maybe like a brush on, maybe it's worth it. What do you think, Chase? You think it could be worth? Yeah, I potentially mean. Potentially the impact, and then the impact happens, and it just doesn't immediately explode and let fuel go everywhere. I mean, any extra like protection against everything would be good. I don't think it would hurt. What could it hurt? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't think it could hurt nothing. Okay, so the search is on. If you guys know of a good rubberized coating, other than flex seal, lizard skin, or anything else uh, that we could potentially uh, coat the outside of a fuel cell with, or is it worth doing it? I think it's worth doing it. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. See y'all.